Hey guys, welcome back. Bro, what are you doing? What is that in your hand? What the hell is this? Are it's nothing. Oh no, you have built something crazy again. Wait, wait. Relax guys, it's just our college electronics project. This is a simple digital counter circuit. All right, let's get serious. In this project, we are going to build a digital counter circuit using few components. Let's check one by one. So this is our BCD decad counter. It counts from 0 to 9 in binary. This is 555 timer IC. It is used to generate clock pulses. This is the BCD to 7 segment decoder. It takes the output to run the display. This is common anode 7 segment display. And I have used two display for my project. I used this to adjust the clock pulses. Then I need few resistors for display. Also I need few resistors for the circuit. I used this capacitor for noise filtering and another capacitor for power supply, a blue LED for indication, then a 5 volt regulator IC. We also need 4 IC base and a 9 volt battery for power supply and finally a big size PCB board. This is the circuit diagram I divided into 3 parts. First one is power supply, second one is clock generation and the last one is counterpart. First, let's build the power supply. I am using 7805 voltage regulator to convert 9 volt to 5 volt. And also don't forget to add input and output capacitor to keep things smooth. Next up, the clock generator. This little circuit will send regular pulses to make our counter tick. I am using a classic as stable mode of the 555 timer with two resistor and a capacitor to set the frequency. If you are watching till now, so like the video and share to your friends and it will motivate me to bring lots of new project. Once it's shouldered, I tested it by connecting a simple LED and yes, it's blinking. That means our pulse is working. As I am changing the frequency, the speed of light increasing or decreasing accordingly. And pin 3 is our output pin. Now for the main part, the counter circuit. First I am placing the 7490 IC. I have connected the output from 555 timer to pin 14 of 7490. And that's the clock A input. Then I am placing the 7447 IC. And these resistors are used for display. Then I connected the BCD output from 7490 to the input of 7447, pin A, B, C and D. Now I am placing the 7 segment display and shouldering it. Finally I connected the 7447 output to the 7 segment display. Make sure it's common anode display. Guys if you have any queries comment down below. Now let's check the circuit is it working or not. Here's the single digit counter circuit in action. As the pulses are fed in, it starts counting from 0 to 9 and it's working perfectly. If you want to build a single segment display, it's up to there. And if you want uh, another display, then watch the next part. I did exact connection like circuit diagram and you can follow that. Double check all the connection, especially pin number 2, 3, 6 and 7 of 7490 which needs to be grounded for proper counting. Now let's take a look, all shouldered, neat, clean and ready to count. Wow, it's looking amazing. Now it's time to test it out. I have connected a 9 volt battery to the input. The 7805 regulates it down to 5 volt and it works. The display start counting automatically. Each pulse from 555 timer is incrementing the count and the 7 segment display shows it in real time. You can adjust the counting speed by rotating the knob of potentiometer. And that's how you can build your own digital counter circuit. If you found this helpful, drop a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next crazy projects. Thanks for watching and remember it's not just electronics, it's electrifying.